Hello, welcome to Push Corp. I'm Isaiah Flora. Today we're robotically deflashing composite parts. Please comment with any questions you have as you watch the video. We'd love to chat. If you enjoy the video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more robotic material removal action. Our parts are carbon fiber composites. Our goal was to remove any of the flashing and break any sharp edges. This flat part was the most straightforward, but it had a few pockets and corners to navigate. It was also fairly easy to fixture to our table. On this one, you can see the complex shape of the part with multiple features we had to process. For our demo, we used two fixturing positions to enable us to reach all the edges with the robot. For the final robotic cell, the customer will be able to design a fixture that allows the robot to access all the edges in one position. We utilize the PushCorp AFD310 compliance device and the PushCorp STC 1503BT30 spindle to tackle this application, providing constant force and RPM. The AFD310 is an active compliance device. That was key to successfully deflashing the more complex part. It provided a constant force no matter what orientation we put the abrasive and spindle. Its 20 millimeter compliance stroke also simplified the programming required to follow the part's unique geometries. The STC 1503 BT30 spindle spun the media at a constant RPM. It has a max RPM of 15,000 and three horsepower. Its automatic tool changing feature makes swapping out to new media simple and efficient. With our spindle and compliance device selected, we showed the customer two approaches. On these flat parts, we demonstrated random orbital sanding. PushCorp offers a series of random orbital tool holders and three five and six inch pads with multiple orbits. In this case, we tried the three inch and the five inch. They were both able to access all the features, so we recommended the five inch to the customer because it will give longer media life. The sanding discs we used were 3M Cubitron 2 775L hook it film discs. The precision shape grain technology provided fast cut and long life. The film backing resisted tearing on the sharp flashing. While effective at removing the flash and providing long media life, it was difficult to finesse into some of the features due to the orbit motion. Depending on the parts finish requirements, this could still be a good option for the customer. On our other part, we demonstrated a 3-inch 3M Scotch-Brite surface conditioning disc. Its springy non-woven fibers resisted loading and helped avoid overgrinding the part. This approach used a rotary motion that allowed more control in the tight contoured spaces of this part. The customer will have to weigh factors such as media costs, part finish requirements, and cycle time to determine what option is best for them. Let's take a look at these two options in action. First, we demonstrated random orbital sanding. On this more complex part, we demonstrated a 3M Scotch-Brite surface conditioning disc. Hey, welcome back. If you want to see your parts in the demo lab or have interest in our equipment, send an email to sales at pushcorp.com. If you manufacture composite parts, you may also be interested in our video featuring a robotic composite router. We'll post a link for you to check it out. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.